Now that we have a stage two lead, let's progress into stage three. To do this, we have to get rid of the cacophony in the crow. I call that removing garbage. There are three actions we do in various combinations as needed to remove the garbage. First is we create the inception. To do this, I use a specialized tool. I mark this spot of the inception and I consistently want it to remain at 66 millimeters. That is when using a 47 millimeter tube. The stroke used to create the inception is called thunk. It's an aggressive stroke and I jab at the reed right at the marked spot, wiggle a little and push cane forward. Jab, wiggle, and push. Another, we do that on, on all four sides. The other action we may need to remove garbage is to deepen the channels. Now we learned to put channel strokes in, but this is deepening the channels, which is slightly different. So we need the aid of our pipe cleaner. Be certain that you've properly prepared it as discussed in the printed material. Always insert the pipe cleaner one direction and remove it in the same direction. The pipe cleaner is used to prop open the arc of the reed, which lets us be more specific in removing cane in the channels. Also, the stroke itself, rather than one long stroke like we did, is now going to be what I call a dotted line. Dot, 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 moving forward. It'll also be slightly shorter in length, dot, 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 than the basic channel stroke. Okay, so that is deepening the channels. And the final action at this point that we use to remove garbage would be to clip the tip. Now, to clip the tip, you need to have a block and you place the reed, I'm going to show you sideways, not flat on the block, but at a slight angle. This is because we prefer to have one tip length slightly longer than the other in a finished reed. Also, you're going to plant the knife firmly into the block. I'll show you that at an angle. So plant here on the tip of the knife and the action will be a guillotine chop. Okay, so from above I'll show you what that is. Angle the reed, plant the knife, and Also, once the garbage is removed, we may need to tune the crow. Oftentimes, when moving from stage two into stage three, the crow is too high in pitch. So there are three actions we take to lower the pitch. One is to a stroke I called shouldering. Shouldering involves a plaque, and I'm scraping, I'll move in here to show you, right where this corner is on the reed. So where the inception meets the heart, right there. And what I'm doing is rolling that edge. It's called shouldering. It's done at, with an angled knife and it goes onto the plaque right in that area. See that? Either side. And of course you would do all four sides. Now do this gently because it really lowers the crow. So just a few strokes and then give it a try. The next thing I can do to bring the crow down would be to create a ramp that was illustrated in the printed material on the read map. So a ramp is about one millimeter behind your creation of your tip area and it's just a forward motion, very sparingly. Same thing, that's creating a ramp, 
may be needed, may not be needed. These three strokes can be done in combination, various amounts, or only part of them. And the last thing we can do to lower the crow is again using the pipe cleaner. This would be putting what I call channel strokes through the heart. <clears throat> Instead of as we deepened the channels, we stopped here. And when we created the channels, we went here into the heart. But channel strokes through the heart actually goes through. And this can be done with the pipe cleaner or without the pipe cleaner. Okay, and you notice I go all the way through off the tip of the reed. But I'm not pressing into the tip. Once I'm beyond the heart, there's no more cane being taken. These actions should create a stage three reed, and the crows of that reed will be shown soon.